Finally, God can take you to that place. The, the group of people that I pity is those who were taken to the place. Jacob. Like Jacob. I never recognized that they had arrived. And they decided to leave. Those are the ones that was telling you about like these people who were here. I had youths here who were on fire. I don't know where they went. That the, that the Lord has brought to that place and they never realized that they have been there. And they continue moving. They're the people that I pity the most. I was once there. In 1986, towards the end. Or oh, in 1987, I, I was at Namileme Christian Fellowship. Prayer. I had a tree there. I left the Justines in church and I went to the bush. This tree is still there until today. But now the bush is no longer. There, and they started building there. This is the fence of Namirembe Cathedral. In a manga down here at Bani Road. Road. It was a bush. But every day I used to go there and pray. But one time I was praying after like a year. God told me that he was sending me to Entebbe. I had never been to Entebbe. I did not know how Entebbe looks like. I accepted and agreed. After six months we made I'm a gathering there in Kalangalo. We went with different people from Namirembe Christian Fellowship. I was the superstar. Bible school, I was the number one. Because in the Bible school, I was the number one. Crusade, a school of ministry. When, when we held crusades for school of ministry, I used to be the preacher. We went to Mitiana. We went to Mitiana. We went through Bishop Makumbi. We went through Bishop Makumbi's place. It was Bishop Makumbi who had organized that crusade. In Mitiana, we went to Mitiana. We went to Mitiana. We went to Mitiana. We went up to Kalanga. We preached the gospel. And the people get served. And they asked who is going to stay here. Everyone was like, no. I said, let me stay. Did we go together? Where are you? Where are you? People got saved. And I said, let me stay. I was excited. I said, let me stay like the pastor. After the final arrangement, we organized everything. The next Sunday, we made a service. After the crusade, the previous night, and it was filled with people. And I was excited. But God had told me a year earlier that I'm supposed to go to Entebbe. After the service, Mama I don't know what I did to Mama Mary. And Namembo. I was not talking about them. In preaching, they thought I was talking about them. After the service, they called me to a meeting. And they say that you, you will not stay here. They said that you, you will not stay here. They gave me a punishment for not staying there. The gospel you preached, you do not respect grown ups. So, why were you preaching about us yet you knew we are the ones who had brought you? We cannot leave you in this church. Go back to Kaiwa.
They hindered me from staying in Kalangalo. Yet, it was God going through them. Now, that's what they call key people. So, when they were screening after they were doing the week, they had the seven keys. That's what they call key people. Number two. I'm not talking about key places. Key people. Na memba ni mama mere. Bali key people. And mama mere. Bali was anti van punishing. They thought they were punishing me. Kumbe bante kamukoli sebwa kwa katondo kutufu. That they were putting, but they were putting me in the Lord's vision. Ni baga toja kusiga la wawano. That you will not stay here. You will not stay here. So that you can learn how to respect elders. I was very hard. They had taken me. The vehicle was theirs. They were the ones feeding us. After the on Monday we came back. I went back to the school of ministry. And then Pastor Kaiwa tells me to go to Entebbe. I see you are the best in the Bible school. Go and help them for when the Wednesday fellowship. There was a room there at Chitoro Road. And then I added it together with the word I had heard from the tree. I had not even graduated from the Bible school. I think I was in my first year. Then I began coming to Entebbe. That's where I find Pastor Kayanja. I used to come every day. I used to come every I preached the gospel. 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 And then the Kawempe got to me. When it filled up, the Lord spoke to me again. And told me, go to Karamoja. It was not God who had spoken with me. I was fasting for a year. I was fasting six days a week. For a whole year. My spiritual antennas were very sharp. They would receive every wave. Now, through those waves, I received the Satan's communication. It received. Go where people are and build where others have not gone. Where haven't people been preaching? And I said, I said, Mrs. Mutebi, uh, please pack your it is, it is very good to. Sebo, mm, it is very good to, 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 to marry a stupid woman. Mm. Have you ever seen him? If you are stupid, marry a fellow stupid. Yes. She did not ask. And we packed our bags. Then I leave the place where the Lord Mama had put Mary me. Mama Mary helped me in Kalanga. And she said things I did not do. Katonda, now at the tree, God tells me to go to Entebbe. And they even gave me Katonda, akola, atemu, omuntu, omola, and another person tells me to go to Karamoja. And that night a woman called Teddy Nakato dreamed a dream. And you see me bringing her up, I'm about to retire. Every time I come here, I'm going to retire. Every time I come here, I'm going to retire. Every time I come here, God used him. I call her on every significant. God used ceremony. her to keep me in that place called there. O kumbi zamuchifeche chitibwe yo. Nangamba musumba mukama yampa de chiroto nangantibo no gende kalamo jori mufu. Ah, yakola na boat. 
Pastor, the Lord gave me a dream and told me that when you go to Karamoja, you are dead. After even parking. I come back after years and say, what language I, was I, was I, I did not know English. In Karamoja, they don't speak Lugan. Something can confuse you and take you out of your dream and vision. And if she had not the word that you will die. I was going. Pastor Kayanja, you're going next Sunday to Karamoja. I don't know whether I'll be able to go. Hmm. Oh, you. Hmm. She's there. And, and she said that God gave me a dream and showed me that when you go to Karamoja, you are dead. I did not hear about God, but I heard the death part. I said, ah, I will not die from there. I stayed. I didn't know. Samanya. Finally, I realized this was the place of mine called there. Every one of us has a place called there. When God meet you, makes you to reach there, do not move. And God brought us here. And we bought the first plot there. When I, this is the place called there. When as, as, that's when I ascertained that you know, it was here. We got a plot and started paying it in installments. And the landlord and told me that you are my son. Don't worry. Whatever you get, please bring. And I write. Later. Please bring. I will write. We started collecting money. Giving 500,000. We give it in. 1 million. We give it in. We bought and it was. We started buying here. We bought and it was. Then and he said, my son, I'm even selling this one. But whatever you have, please bring. And we give it in. And my son, even the other one, I'm selling it. Slowly by slowly, you give in. For 13 years, we were paying in installments. Where can you get such a landlord today? That part where we have built the toilet Sunday and the new toilet we are building. It was the last plot. We we sold us. After selling it to us, after six months he died. God had fulfilled. When you reach in that place called there, you will find God there. I pray that the Lord may take you to a place called there. Stand up, everybody. Stand up, everybody. Please remain. Raise up your hands. Mighty God, I lift up every woman. And every man. We are reading about the place called there. Please start moving them to the in place the Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The place called there. Please help them go there. Those who have not yet arrived. Please help them reach there. Those who have reached and have passed. Please help and bring them back. Hold up your hand, oh God. Like you told Abraham. That leave your land. Leave your country. And leave your bread. Leave your bread. Go to the city of the Lord. When I preach you there, I pray in the name of Jesus that you may give a blessing over the people. Please give us a blessing. Please confess yourself to them. We are in the movement. We are moving. We are looking for that blessing. Please direct our faces in the name of Jesus. Please direct our faces in the name of Jesus. Please move our faces in the name of Jesus. Please take us. Oh God. Please take us. 
Ay, Dear God, please help us reach Ay, oh dear God in a place called there. Mochifochiri. In that place where I met God please help us reach there in that place called there in Jesus name amen. amen and amen and amen somebody clap your hands to the Lord let's get our tithes let's get our tithes